All right. And we're live. So, hey, what's up? It's me, Blunt's Master, here with my lovely wife, Nina. Hi. And the super cool monkey chill and hand puppet. <laughs> and we're here with not only another episode of Mortal Kombat 1 here on the Punch Masters Gaming Corner, not only another character tower, but the final character tower of the main roster. We still have a bunch of character towers to do eventually, but like, you know, DLC. Instead, we're going to be um, officially done with the main roster, which is going to be cool. We're finally going to be done with that, and that'll be nice. Who knows? Maybe that'll allow me to do invasions mode. Or maybe that's going to take forever for me to actually get started. <laughs> Especially since I got a bunch of other things on my plate that I want to take care of first. Me, uh, boy. Yeah, yeah boy coming soon. Should hopefully be starting soon. Hopefully. I hope. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. If you set it up correctly. I hope so. I hope I set it up correctly. Otherwise, I'm screwed. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't let me be screwed. Anywho, without further ado, let's take a look here. So, we've had power videos for Katana. We've had one for Melina. For Tanya, for Rain, for Smoke, for Scorpion, for Reptile, for Sub-Zero, for Lee Mei, Kenji, Baraka, Garrus, Omni-Man, uh, Shang Tsung, Shao, uh, General Shao, I almost called Shao Kahn, Sindel, Reiko, Reiko, Raiden, a.k.a. Josh Chair, Fire God Liu Kang, Johnny Cage, or John claude Van Damme, depending on which skin you choose, uh, Kung Lao, Havoc, and Megan Fox. But, we still have one character in the main roster here. And today, we are going to finally finish it up with Asha. And since my timing with this video recording managed to not only have us prepared for this character's release, but also be a few days late, we have Tremor as our cameo character. So we get to do a Tremor showcase as well. You ready, honey? I'm ready. Then let's again. Tremor. Uh, go. Right, I gotta select a difficulty. Alright, so... <laughs> starting off by fighting off... Megan Fox. Because of course... Oh, shit. Okay, not off to the best of starts. Okay, so... Ooh, a teleport dash. And I don't know how... They were... I don't know exactly the pattern I did to activate that. But, um... There we go. Ah, shit! Alright, so... With Ashra! Uh, since we are de playing as a, uh, demoness, uh, one would think that Serena would be the most fitting cameo fighter for this fight. Since apparently that character is actually a demon per se. And although, yes, it would have made more sense. That being said, we had already used Serena and we just got Tremor, so I'm, I'm gonna use this opportunity to play as Cameo Fighter that we just got. <laughs> I mean, we're in a row, right, hon? Right. Man. Uh. 
Aí, né? Ah. <laughs> yeah. This the monkey chunk and the Cindy pup have more greater importance. It's all this food. <laughs> yeah, shit, honey, I'm fighting Indiana Jones. Cage. It's the best and worst of both worlds! At least for you, at least. <laughs> that and whoever ends up encountering John Cage at all, really. It's, yeah. <laughs> they don't like it as much. Alrighty, let's see. Summon the Tremor! Stop. Oh. Yeah. So we're on Metallic Tremor right now. Apparently this guy comes with different forms. So let's see what Metallic does. Now! Um, now! Damn it. Johnny, will you stop attacking me for like five goddamn minutes? Tremor, go! You're an ass. What? Oh, fuck you. Brutality. Brutality. Ashra wins. That's what you get, Cage. That's what you get for interrupting my cameo fighter. Mm. Alright, well, got a little early for a brutality, but hey. When in Rome, right? Right. Right. When in Rome. Or in this case, that world. Did I already say that? Oh, <laughs> Probably did. <laughs> Like that hole. Alright, Tremor, you got your aftershock? Go for it! Go for it! What the hell was that? Okay, now you're crystalline. Fuck. Ow. 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 Did I mention ow? That felt like a heaping pile of ow. Honey, I think I got a kiss in the ow. Ah. Ow. I think so too. Tremor, do something. Tremor, that was not helpful. <laughs> Tremor, this is supposed to be a good showcase for you. Go. Wait, what the hell are you doing? You're changing forms, but you're not doing it. <laughs> Go forward! Oh, hello, that was different. <laughs> what? I just made him shoot fire. Yeah. <laughs> How should I just let him just wobble? Just like fall over. <laughs> Either way, it would have been way more than Rako deserves. <laughs> and now I'm dead. Well, honey, it was nice knowing you. I. Uh, okay, what? <laughs> Round one. Fight. What, huh? No way. Yeah. So. <laughs> Really? 
Hmm. They changed it to the Christmas Express? Or is that like the name of the event? God, I didn't die to Omni Man. Okay. All right, honey. What do you say? You ready for some heavenly light? Yes. All right. Down, left, down, triangle. Wait. No notes, huh? Down, left, down, triangle. Down, left, down, triangle. Yes! Got the fatality code right. Goodbye, Army Man! <laughs> sure is. <laughs> Who's gonna write for the Daily Bugle now? <laughs> Probably J. John Jameson, because that's not even what we kind of. Yeah. He's so frustrating of a character. But unfortunately, like, they did a great job creating him as a character. And they have to have him because you can't have everybody, like, superheroes. Because in real life, that ain't the case. No, it's not. Not for the police, not for the police, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Round one. Through that. <laughs> that is true. True that. Alright, so that is... Yeah. So, we just got done showcasing Ostra's fatality. And the classic brutality. Because, of course, we got it. And, um... Yeah, yeah. All right, Trevor, do your thing. Trevor, don't just stand there. Oh, hello! I got armor, and I had it. And. Alright, honey. You ready to see what Tremor can do? I'm ready. Also, I found out which kind of memory cells are you when I got sniper. <laughs> this is naughty and deadly. You gotta hurt people scanning in their mind. Uh, better lose it and manipulative. Cheapers. Is that right then? Uh, Joyce? Mm -hmm. See, I don't think you're manipulative at all. Yeah. I love you. I love you too. Ready? Ready. All right. Down, left, right, R1. Down, left, right, R1. Down, left, right, R1. 
Down, left, right, R1. Hey, okay, I get it. All right, Trevor. What do you got? Oh my god, honey. Uh, I got a strike. Protective, maternal, beautiful, and persistent. That definitely describes me. Aww. I feel like a siren sometimes describes me too. Why do you think that? <laughs> that can be a little bit of a sore position. <laughs> I feel like I can be manipulated. You can't be manipulated. You have never been manipulated at all, and you've never been a sore loser. I love you. It doesn't work on animals. Well, that's a shame. Alright. What? Freshwater mermaid? What? I mean, you are wickedly friendly. Yeah. Right. I don't know if it wants me to call me a slayer. I'm not entirely sure. All I know is that I throw a rocket rain and miss. But I ain't missing this time, son of a bitch. I was too close to him. He threw overhead. That's right, that's right, that's right. Crap. Trevor, go! <laughs> uh. And brutality. There is a beauty in your death. That is a beauty in your death, Rain. Lucky, you're on the fridge. Ah, cheaters. Hey, what butt. Okay, I'm gonna close you in there. I think he's going to be happier with that. I'm gonna close you in there. <laughs> oh, you won't for a bit. He doesn't care. Yep. Yeah. Alright, Fluffy. <laughs> I just wanted to get some pie. I can tell. That's oh. all. That's all I wanted. I want my pie. You really wanted to just stay in the fridge. She really did. Uh -oh. <laughs> Alright, mom, well, I dare you. Close me in the fridge. <laughs> yeah, I'll be happy with you. Like, sitting in the bed tonight, but you do. Yeah. Alrighty. Next fight. Here we go. Hi, baby. Hi. Alright. <clears throat> Tip me the battle of the clones. Salvar, not bad. Far him. What? Yeah. I bet he liked that. Uh, I see. That makes sense. Indeed it was. I love you. Oh shit. And I'm gonna get rocked. Ow. Uh, how would you define having a bunch of light feathers impale my abdomen? And also being stuck to rock flooring and punched like a rock and sock and robot. Then back kind of rocked. But I'm doing it to somebody else, so that makes it karma! <laughs> Go fall. I love you. All right. Throw a rock at him, Rip. Or do that. I'll take that. Sure. Okay. Yeah, I just gave a... I just caused an earthquake, so that's fun. Hell yeah. 
I'll only do it in Earth Realm and Nether Realm. I promise. Alright. No, he wouldn't. He's a very, very well behaved kitty. That's the word I'm looking for. Alright, honey, you think you're ready? I'm gonna say well behaved for you. Probably. <laughs> Alright, honey, let's go bowling again. Here we go! Whoa. I had a double that time! Alright, the final fight before we finally get the final character ending of the main roster. Are you ready? Round one. Fight. Let's dance, Shang Tsung. Ooh, I just rock punched him. Alright, off to the red side. And never mind. Okay, I hold you are starting to get out of my face. Stop! Maybe not the best way to damn that. Okay. Alright. Well, now that we've uh, gone through the main roster, I think I would have to probably say either Raiden, because of the electrical powers, and his little charging attack, the <laughs> It's not actually what it's called, but it's the kind of the noise he makes. Or at least he used to make a bit. Uh, Johnny Cage! That's it. Um, Omni Man is fun to play as. But that's more of a DLC so far. And I can't really judge DLC in general quite yet. So I'd say Raiden, Johnny Cage, and honestly, I think Lee May is also one of my favorites. Mostly because of the fireworks. Like the firework abilities, they're pretty fun. Well, all except for one, Lee May. Lee May's a. The amazing one. Yeah. Alright, Trevor. Land the final blow! No, don't go taking away his. I took it away. I was the one that took away his moment! <laughs> Monkey tail! Draco, <laughs> easy. No doubt about it. Draco sucks. Cause I lost multiple goddamn times with that asshole. Not to mention the fact that he barely has much of a personality out of the side of I serve Shao Kahn. Also, ending times. Let's see what Asher has. I couldn't believe that Liu Kang welcomed me in Earthrealm, or that he thought me worthy to study with his Shaolin masters. After a lifetime of wishing for one, I finally had a home. But my joy was tempered as I thought about Serena. My shadow sister was still under Quan Chi's yoke, and she deserved a life free of him as much, if not more, than I. Quan Chi and my other sisters proved tenacious, but they were no match for my blade. I snatched Serena from them. Then Liu Kang helped me break Quan Chi's spell. Her mind Aww. free of his influence for the first time in years. Serena chose to join me in Earthrealm. My sister and I once again fight side by side. Only now we do so for Earthrealm. Together, 
We have formed the order of light. Yeah. Probably should have learned about them being sisters before I went into this episode, because uh, now I really regret not having Serena as the cameo fighter for this episode. Oops. Well, I had to showcase DLC, so that's on you. Yeah, if you learn. So yeah, that completes all of the main roster characters. <laughs> so we got all the main roster characters taken care of. We got the first DLC character taken care of. All we gotta do is do character towers for Ermac, Takeda, Quan Chi, Peacemaker, and Homelander. May all the realms hope that they don't die from this. What about to happen with the next character towers? It's going to be chaos. That being said, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, like, subscribe for more content. Comment down below what you guys want me to play next. And click on the notification bell to be notified when I post a new video. That being said, stay home, stay safe, keep the comments clean and healthy. And as always, see y'all. Bye.